Hey, it's Craig. I'm uh, back for another episode of collecting an autograph of who I consider to be the greatest player at every position in the NFL. Tonight we have an interesting, kind of different video. We only got one official pick, or maybe two, you'll understand in just a minute. Plus, we got a lot going on. I'm going to show a small pickup that I got from a break that I did, and then we'll open something. Sounds good. Okay, so we're going to go through the players that we already have out here. We have Jerry Rice at wide receiver. We have Jonathan Ogden at left tackle. Jim Otto at center. Can't show you this stuff. Hold on. I'll just move it over. We have um, Nolan Cromwell at holder. What's his name again? Steve Diasi at long snapper. Ray G-U-Y at punter. We have Morton Anderson, the kicker. Joshua Ki Joshua Cribs, the best kick returner of all time. So uh, I'm going to remove some stuff here. So talk amongst yourselves. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. One second. Okay, let me move this over. Ugh. I still love that rice, even though it's just the reprint of this rookie. I like uh, how crisp the card looks, and so uh, happy with that one. Happy with that one. Okay, I'm just getting organized here. So, we have defensive tackle here. But Craig, you say, you said there's two cards in a weird situation. There are two cards under that defensive tackle, and one of them is the official selection, and the one I will have, and the other one might also be there, and I'll explain in a second. Before I do that, I did a break with Blez, B-L-E-Z sports cards, Chasing breaks never really worked out. He doesn't do breaks anymore. Uh, so Dave Durango kind of turned me on to Blood Sports Cards. I just done two breaks, but I like it. They, uh, I, you know, just like any breaker site, they kind of have to go really fast because they break a lot of stuff. But so I did. I made a mistake. I meant to go on and get it gilded. Although gilded for tops would have probably been a little pricey. I just wanted a cheap team. Just hadn't done a break for a while. I went on and did the Chicago White Sox, um, but I was in a hurry, getting ready to go to work, and I actually did Tops Tier 1. It was like the day that it came out. So Tops Tier 1, um, they did a case of that, like six boxes. You know, Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe it's a little bit more, but there's like three cards per box, three or four, is it four? But uh, so it was 39 bucks. Uh, some people didn't even get a card out of it. Um, I wasn't thrilled with the cards that I got, but I did get two cards from it. I was hoping to get a Frank Thomas uh, autograph, or um, but I had looked at the Gilded checklist, so uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what was in it. But without further ado, we have a Davis Martin autograph. He is a uh, he's an older rookie pitcher. It's a number out of 299. His numbers aren't perfect, but they're not terrible, so he should stick and get a chance to continue pitching. So a decent little autograph there, Davis Martin. And the second one is an Eloy Jimenez out of 400 uh, jersey card. So, yeah, I, I mean, some people, like I said, didn't get a card. I would have preferred one, you know, card maybe like getting my money back, but that's what happens when you get in a break. You never know. So I got these two. Uh, put those with my White Sox collection. Okay, uh, there's some cards over here that I'm going to open later, but first we're going to get to this. So I have defensive tackle. There, of course, there are different, there's defensive in. And I tried to do research and it didn't really specify, so, you know, I can only do the best that I can do. So, you know, going with one. There's two guys that tied for first. I'm not going to be, I'm going to be honest with you. There's two people that tied for first, and I'm going to go over who I chose as number one. Probably going to be some people like Chris Weaver who disagree, uh, but let me try to convince you. So, the greatest defensive tackle of all time in the NFL is Bob Lilly of the Dallas Cowboys. And I was a little concerned getting these gold standard cards. Um, 
Not the highest end card. This is 316 out of 2500. But this card is beautiful. These cards look really nice. Nothing fancy about it, but just how everything's arranged and everything like this. Clear photo. Um, so Bob Lilly was, his nickname is Mr. Cowboy. Not Troy Aikman, not Emmett Smith, not uh, Roger Staubach. His name is Mr. Cowboy. Um, he was considered to be an innovator and the revolutionize of the defensive tackle. He was the first one that was ever, usually just they just put like old fat guys like me in the defensive line. He was athletic. He was, um, he was, he had a lot of skill. He was like a revolutionary defensive end. Um, Dallas Cowboys are one of three NFL teams that do not retire numbers officially. So they do not, they did not retire Emmett Smith's number. They did not retire, retire Troy Aikman's number, Roger Staubach's number, Deion Sanders' number, any Cowboys. The only exception is that even though it's not official, no one will ever wear Bob Lilly's number again. So technically they retired his number, even though they don't officially announce it. He's the only one Cowboy in history that they will not let you wear his number. He missed one game in his entire career, one game. He was seven-time first-team All-Pro, two-time second-team All-Pro, 11-time Pro Bowler. When they did the NFL 75th year, um, and this was a while ago, this was before some other players that we may mention in a second here were really around, the 75th anniversary of the NFL, the greatest players of all time, he was in the top 10 of all the players, not defensive players, of all the players. Now, I don't know how high he was in the NFL 100th year top because more guys come along and you know, I know there's going to be other people up there. And but when he was when he was in the 75th and he was a top 10 player, he was the highest defensive player. I know he's not anymore. You're going to see a uh, player or two come along with my cards that'll I'll explain including the greatest what's considered to be the greatest NFL player of all time. Uh, regardless of offense or defense. So that's Bob Lilly. Uh, tied for first in fumble recoveries for TDs and tied for third in most consecutive games. I'm going by the numbers I pulled up on the internet. If you're a Bob Lilly fanatic and you just happen to see this and I'm wrong, let me know. Or you don't need to, but it's, it doesn't matter. But anyway, so my pick is Bob Lilly. Sorry, Weaver. Second pick. So I found this card on eBay. Go to eBay and look up Reggie White cards. So Reggie White card, just plain basic old card here. Go to eBay and find Reggie White cards and autographs. Reggie White unfortunately passed away from some form of sleep apnea when he was like 43 in that area. It could be a year off, unfortunately. He didn't sign that much. He didn't have a ton of autographs. His autographs were very, very pricey. I saw this, uh, this card on, on eBay. And they made a mistake. They didn't, sh the autographs on the back. Um, they didn't show the, the autograph as the first picture. They showed the front of the card. So people, you know, people will include like non-auto in their description on eBay. They didn't know there's an auto. Now, before I flip this over, I'm going to tell you, it's not a great looking autograph. The eye appeal is not good. The autographs are a little faded. But I am going to try to get this authentic, authentic eh, I can't talk. His, his autographs go from two three hundred dollars all the way to a thousand dollars. I got this card, and I, I like to think it's because this is, I think it's real. I compared it with other autographs, and the seller had like eleven thousand something positive feedback, one hundred percent, and had a lot of in person autographs. So I imagine a lot of those people who bought from him before got off, you know, went and got their cards uh, off, and they came back. So there's probably a very reputable seller, and this is the back. You can see there, it's not a great, it's a little faded, but you can see the Reggie and the white, and he always put a Bible verse under there. So this is the card. Not the worst I've ever seen, not great. I'm hoping that it's not too faded to get, often, I can't say that word, to get, um, to get shown, to be, <laughs> shown to be real. I'm gonna practice that word after this video. I don't know why they would fake his autograph on this side of the card. Um, I mean, he could have, well, not a good card to get. So I, I just think he just happened to be, you know, signing. He, someone had this particular card. That's all they had. Uh, but I believe it's a real Reggie White off. 
uh, auto, I'm sorry, and I will, I wouldn't sell it, but I am, I am going to get this, um, should prove that this is real and I'll keep this in my collection. And if it is real, he will go along side by side with Bob Lilly to defor to form our defensive line. But Bob Lilly is the choice. Reggie White, I'm going to try to get this on there. I don't know if I can really afford at this time to get, um, any factory, you know, card that came out. So that's it for those cards. We're already at 10 minutes. We got to move on. So we're going to open a box that I pulled up at Walmart. Probably not a great decision. I don't think I've ever opened this before, but we're just going to open a 2021 Prism Draft Picks. Um, half price at Walmart. I've seen these before and passed on these. The only ones that they had left when I went again were select. Kind of tired of select. 12 cards, all terrible per box. Even at $17, I don't like the select. If those select boxes were 10, I'd buy a couple of them. But So, I think I did open, or was this? I don't know. I opened up a Prism Draft Picks blaster during my first retirement. Maybe I'll open this when I retire for real. But these, I think, are some pink picks 2021 we could see a player or two that are in the major league i didn't look at the checklist or anything take a look and see what we can get here so yep that's uh bob Lilly's added to the list and maybe reggie white if it's a good auto there is kyle manzato i know that i had a decent amount of these from a collection that i bought there's Jose Torres, a Crusade. I'm not familiar with him. I didn't really notice too many names out of there. And I don't I prefer current major leaguers. I'm not really big on too much of the thing, you know, like the Bowman flight, the Bowman main I'll buy. But let's see what we have here. I'm tired. It's hot out today. I was working out in the front yard all day. Seth Schumann. Is the green, is it a cracked ice? What is it? I don't know. I didn't check to see if anyone other. This is Reed Trimble. Reed Trimble. I'm not too familiar with him, but he likes the 4th of July and likes to light off fireworks. I can't talk. Seth Schumann. Let me just take a look. I don't think so. I don't think this card was numbered now. Okay. Hoping just, of course, we're hoping for an auto, but hoping for a numbered card also. There's a Thunderstruck. You've been Thunderstruck. Drew Gray, Calvin Ziegler, Brooks Grossween. There is a, duh, that is, a, yeah, Irvin Carter, Thunderstruck. And then a Doug Mikazi. Nick Hazy, Nick Hazy, Doug Nick Hazy, green card. Two more packs left, and then the bonus pack. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, I haven't purchased any more autos yet, but I'm ready to pull the trigger on two more. Just trying to, you know, we're to the point. And you get one silver hollow, whatever. I think that's it right there, or maybe I'm at the point where I just got to take my time a little bit to make sure I get the right card that I want. I haven't really noticed too many names here. Micah Ottenbreet and Grayson Rodriguez. And there's the first name that I'm really familiar with. And that is the prism. It almost looks like the silver hollow type prism. Grayson Rodriguez. Last regular pack. Oh, there's the silver one. Okay. Matt McLean. Cameron Cawley. Clayton Dooney, Doug, oh, there's Doug Nicasey again, and then another prospect, Kyle Bradish. I've heard that name before, so I uh, don't think we got any big hits out of that. Let's check out what I believe to be the pink. Feels like, like, three cards, maybe more. We'll never get it open. God damn it. Hold on. They did a really good job of sealing the pink pack. Oh my god, the pin won't even go in there. CJ Rodriguez is on the back. 
Oh, there's a lot more than three. <laughs> like seven, six in there. So we know who's on the back. First card, Tyler Madison. These are nice looking cards. The pink cracked eyes, Tyler Madison, Andrew Abbott. Some of these guys could end up being really good. Hunter Goodman, Brady Allen I've heard of, and we know the last one is C.J. Rodriguez, Brady Allen, and Vinny Pascantino. That's the best one. Uh, Vinny P. Vinny P. had a nice rookie season for the Royals. I think he kind of regressed a little the second year, but I would say the Vinny P., the last card. Look at that. That's awesome little light show there. Vinny P is the best card and the last card out of the box. So let me, if anybody knows any better than I do, let me know if there's a better card in there. Thank you for watching this little combo episode and I'll see you later.